Hello students, welcome to this platform of e-learning. Here I will teach you the poem, The Road Not Taken, written by Robert Frost. This well-known poem is about making choices and the choices that shape us. Robert Frost is an American poet who writes simply but insightfully about common and ordinary experiences. Now I'll give you the note of author. Robert Lee Frost was born on 26th March 1874 and died on January 29, 1963. He is well known for his realistic depictions of rural life. He is the only poet to receive four Pulitzer Prizes for poetry. He was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 1960 for his poetic works. Now I will introduce the theme of the poem to you. In the poem The Road Not Taken the road represents our life the poet says that the path that we don't choose in our life is the road not taken he describes his feelings about that choice that he had left in the past the path which we have chosen decides our future our destination the important message that the poet wants to give is that the choice that we make has an impact on our future and if we make a wrong choice we regret it but cannot go back on it so we must be wise while making choices now i'll give you the stanza wise explanation for your clear understanding stanza 1 two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth here diverged means separated and took a different direction yellow wood means a forest with decomposing leaves undergrowth means dense growth of plants and bushes means the forest once the poet was walking down a road and then there was a diversion there were two different paths and he had to choose one out of them The poet says that as he was one person he could travel on one road only he had to choose one out of these two roads yellow wood means a forest with leaves which are wearing out and they have turned yellow in color which means the season of autumn it represents a world which is full of people where people have been living for many years they represent people who are older than the poet the poet kept standing there and looked at the path very carefully as far as he could see it before taking the path he wanted to know whether it is suitable for him or not he was able to see the path till where it curved after that it was covered with trees and was hidden it happens in our life also when we have choices we have alternatives but we have to choose only one out of them we take time in thinking about the pros and cons whether it is suitable for us or not and only then we can take a decision on what path we should choose stanza 2 then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there are own them really about the same Here, fair means as good as the other one. Claim means better option. Grassy means unused. Wanted wear means had not been used. The poet kept on looking at one path for a long time to check if it is the right path for him or not, and then he decided and started walking on another path because he felt that both paths were equally good. He adds that maybe he felt that the path was better for him so he chooses it as it had grass on it which means that it was unused Not many people had walked on this path earlier that is why this path was grassy After he walked on the path for some distance he realized that both the paths were used the same way Even in our life we take any path or option but all of them have the same benefits disadvantages problems challenges and we must face them we think that we are choosing a better option but it is not that way stanza 3 
and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step at roden black ho oh, i kept the first for another day at knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back here troden means walked over the poet says that both the paths were similar that morning both had leaves on them and no one had stepped on them he decided that he would take one path and keep the other path for another day although he knew that one way leads on to another way he knew that he could not go back on the choice that he had made similarly even in our life once we choose an option we must keep on moving ahead with that option and we never get a chance to come back and take the other option that we had left earlier stanza 4 i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages ends two roads diverged in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference here sai means deep breath hence means in the future he says that in the future he will take a deep breath and say that once upon a time he had reached such a point in life that there were two options for him and he traveled on that road which had been traveled upon by lesser number of people that decision of us decided his future similarly in future when you grow up then you will say that once upon a time when you were young you had two options the choice that you made made you what you became of it this is a very strong message for all the students that you should be wise and be careful while making choices out of the options that you have in your life because your future depends on the choice that you make today Now we will focus on the literary devices used in the poem The Road Not Taken. The rhyme scheme of this poem is A B A A B. Symbolism of this poem is two roads which represents two or more choices in our life. Next one anaphora which means the repetition of the same word in the beginning of the lines here and is repeated at the beginning of the lines 2 3 and 4. next one alliteration alliteration means the occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of closely connected words here w is repeated in wanted where f is repeated in first for th is repeated in though that next one repetition ages is repeated then two roads diverged in a word is repeated in stanzas 1 and 4 hope you benefited if so like share and subscribe thanks for watching